This is the 200th episode on my YouTube. So thank you so much for subscribing and joining me. And stay tuned. We'll be back with episode 200. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Cigars and Whiskey for our next cigar review. Today's review is going to be the Matilda Oscura. And this is a big size, 6.5 by 54 stick. Now, this is a great stick. If you haven't had any of the Matilda cigars, I know this is the second addition to their line. Uh, and this is a combination of Dominican, Nicaraguan, Pennsylvania fillers, uh, and then they have a binder made of Sumatran wrapper, and the outside wrapper itself is San Andreas. And you know, when you get the, the notes of black pepper, and sometimes even sweetness, oh, to me that's just awesome. So stay tuned, we're we'll back with our pre job. Into the pre-draw of our cigar, we're getting a great draw. It's not too firmly packed. It's not too loose. It's just right where it needs to be. And when you're uh, squeezing on the cigar, it's just slightly spongy to the touch, which for me is just perfect. That's what I always look for. The worst is to have a cigar that's loose and it starts coming off in your mouth and it just gets all over the place. Or having it too packed that you got to sit and mess with it uh, to get it to the light. But, man... That's awesome, and I'm getting right off, right off the, the dry draw, we're getting a chocolate, oh, which is awesome, and we're getting, like I said, a little bit of earth, just a slight bit of pepper you can notice on the foot, but man, this is going to be like the third cigar I've had of this line, this is a great stick, uh, and people haven't really seen Matilda, I know that they have this line and they have another line. Uh, but a lot of people haven't tried them, or they just they don't see them locally because they aren't they're not they're a small batch cigar. So if you get a chance to see one, or you can find one, I definitely have a link below uh, for Fine Ash Cigars. That's where I got this stick. It's a local tobacco shop that I always go to and buy my cigars. And I know he has a website, so I guess it, I'm not sure if he has it listed for sale there. But I guarantee if you email Sam and ask him, he might be able to ship you some. But I'm not sure. But you can check that link out and definitely check out the link I'm going to list for the actual company itself so you can learn some more about them. And we'll be right back. Welcome back, everybody, for the first third of our review of the Matilda. Ascura uh, Toro Bravo, which is a 54 by 6.5 stick. And right off on the first draws of the first third, we're getting uh, black pepper, a little bit of sweetness, a little bit of cocoa, and just a little bit of leather off of the retro hell. But so far, a really good stick. Now, you can look for my other link. I did match this up with a great uh, black spice crumb called Squeal, which is a product of uh, Denver, Colorado. You gotta love a great draw. Nothing like an uh, ample amount of smoke when you're smoking a cigar in the first third. And this is no slouch of a cigar. So definitely something I would recommend everybody pick up and try. You know, and it is, like I said, a good cigar to mix, uh, pair with uh, an adult beverage. Yeah. Stay tuned. We're back with our second third. Welcome back, everybody, for the second third of our cigar review, the Matilda Oscura. Now, in this second third, we're starting to get... Uh, uh, instead of the chocolate I was getting in the first or the cocoa, starting to pick up more of a mocha, a little bit of a coffee mixed with that profile, and we're getting a little more of the earthy notes on the smoke and on also on the draw. And we're the um, and that sweetness is kind of turning over to that mocha as I just said, uh, uh, but we're starting to notice some cedar, uh, and cedar is always a great note. 
you get off a cigar when you're smoking it, and a little bit of creaminess on that retro hell and that, and that smoke itself is kind of like a um, because the the wrapper is like a dark oily wrapper. We're getting a little bit of that oilness. Not like an oil slick, but like a little bit of left residue on the tongue. And if you go into a shop and you like the cigar and there's other people that like it in the area, make make sure you voice that to the owner if that's your regular hangout. And let them know because if they realize that they can sell your cigar, uh, they'll carry it. And a lot of times they only carry stuff that people ask for or they just have a high sell demand. But I guarantee if they put this in their shop, uh, this is one of those cigars that there's going to be a, quite a bit of business for. Uh, so stay tuned. We'll be back with our final third. Welcome back, everybody, for the final third of our review of the Matilda Oscura. Uh, and this uh, Toro Bravo size. It's a six and a half by 54 stick. And in the final third, we're getting a, uh, a distinct split between the mocha flavor, and now I'm starting to get a little more coffee. Uh, so that mocha sweetness is kindly fading off and going more to, a, uh, to that dark, rich coffee flavor. And along with that, still that earthen uh, cedar note that we got from the second third. And man, it is still a phenomenal st stick. This is one that I would call nub worthy to smoke it to the final nub of the cigar. But all in all, great stick. If you haven't tried it, definitely suggest checking it out. Also check out, uh, I have an, also a video coming up where I pair this with a great uh, black spiced rum. And uh, if you like this video, please hit like and subscribe. Always leave your comments. Thanks again for tuning in to Scars of Whiskey. Have a great day. Have a great smoke. And I'll see you next time.